Hey stars, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to help you find the tightest aspect in your chart. So there will be many aspects in your chart and each of the aspects will have a different orb that goes with it. So a square and a trine and a sextile may have different orbs. But within that, we want to find the particular aspect that has the tightest orb. So it could be any of the aspects in your chart and we're going to now work it out and find out which are the tightest aspects for you. I'm going to be giving you some examples of how to work out the tightest aspect. We're going to be looking at some chart examples and we'll be looking at the chart of the fabulous artist Andy Warhol. When you start your astrology journey, you start to learn about how to read a chart. And first off, you would typically learn about signs, then you would learn planets, then you would learn houses, and then finally you'll get on to aspects. And these are known as the four building blocks of astrology. And of all four of them, I do believe that aspects are the most interesting part of it. Aspects generally show the dialogue between two planets and how two planets are actually working within your chart. But when you start, there's a whole load of aspects that need looking at, and it can be overwhelming for a novice. One of the best ways to determine which aspects are more important than others is by their orb or their tightness of their orb. So we are looking for the actual aspects between two planets that have the tightest orb. They are the most concentrated energy working together in your chart for you. So ideally you will find your tightest aspect. It's also a good idea to, to list out all your aspects in order of tightness, if you will, within your chart but you will have one aspect that's your tightest aspect and that's the aspect you need to interpret first and fully understand first because there's a whole list. You could have 20, 30 or 40 aspects that need interpretation. Honestly, who has time? But as a beginner, it can be overwhelming. So this is one way to sort out the aspects in, in the tightest to the least tightest working out. Each chart will only have one tightest aspect and that will be a very important aspect for you. It's sometimes also called a trigger aspect as well because it's the most dynamic concentrated energy in your chart. This is why it's important to know which is your tightest aspect. So if you have time you can sort your aspects in the list of your top 10 tightest aspects. Don't you love it? And then you'll know where to start with your aspect interpretations. So let's have a look at the tightest aspect and first we're going to consider what are we going to consider within the chart to determine the tightest aspects. So first of all you're only going to use aspects between planets. We are not interested in aspect between points or aspects between planets and points. So only aspects between two planets because as you know the planets are the energies within the chart. The tightest aspect is the Ptolemaic aspect with an orb closest to zero degrees, zero minutes. The five Ptolemaic aspects are the conjunction, the opposition, the trine, the square and the sextile. So to find our tightest aspect, we are only considering the five Ptolemaic aspects between planets. And there will only be one tightest aspect. You're not going to have two or three, um, and you'll see as we go through, that we are going to actually measure the orb to determine which is the actual tightest aspect. There will only be one aspect that is the tightest aspects. Step one is to list the planets in your chart by degree number from zero to 29. So you're going to take all the planets in your chart and sort them from zero up to 29 by their degree number. Step two is we are going to count the difference between the degree numbers of two planets. We are going to check that the planets are in a Ptolemaic aspect. And step four will be that the tightest difference will be the tightest aspect. In a way, it's pretty straightforward, but let's go through it with an example chart that we have. So I have the chart here for the artist Andy Warhol. We are going to list all the planets in order from zero to 29. So at three degrees, we have Mercury, seven degrees, Uranus, nine degrees is Jupiter, 10 degrees is Chiron, 12 degrees is Saturn, 13 degrees is the Moon, 13 degrees is the Sun, 23 degrees is Venus, 28 degrees is Mars, and 28 degrees is Neptune. So from that, we can see that a couple of those planets are very close in degrees to each other. And we're going to now zoom in on those. 
So of the list of planets we have for him, we can see that Jupiter and Chiron are within one degree of each other. So we're going to consider those and look much more closely at those two. We're also go, going to go down and we notice that the moon and the sun are also very close. They're actually at the same degree as each other. And we will look far more closely at that as well. And also we notice that Mars and Neptune are both at 28 degrees. So we're going to have a closer look at those two as well. So we have now decided that there are three different ones that we're going to have a much closer look at and we can ignore the rest. So in his chart, his Chiron is at 10 degrees, eight minutes Taurus. And his Jupiter is at nine degrees, 29 minutes Taurus. So they're very close together and they are conjoined, but we want to see if they are actually the tightest aspect. So what you do is you minus the one degree from the other and you actually get the answer, which is zero degrees, 39 minutes. And that is the orb for that conjunction. So Chiron and Jupiter are as close as zero degrees, 39 minutes in orb for that conjunction. So that's the first one we're going to put on our list. Zero degrees, 39 minutes. The next pair we want to have a closer look at is the moon and the sun. So the moon is at 13 degrees 21 Aries and the sun is at 13 degrees 41 Leo. We can see then that the sun and the moon are actually trying, but now we want to find out is this the tightest aspect? And the difference there is zero degrees 20 minutes. So we've got Mars at 28 degrees 14 Taurus and we have Neptune at 28 degrees 19 Leo. So again, we take the one from the other and get the difference. So we have zero degrees, five minutes of orb. So having gone through our three pairs that are very close, that we, we, we highlighted through their degree, we now take it down to the minutes to work out the exact orb between the two planets. So now looking at those three all in order, we can see for Andrew Warhol, his tightest aspect is actually Mars square Neptune at zero degrees, five minutes. Second up will be the moon trying the sun with an orb of zero degrees, 20 minutes. And third up will be Jupiter conjoined Chiron with an orb of zero degrees, 39 minutes. Andy Warhol's tightest aspect is the Mars square Neptune with an orb of zero degrees and five minutes. Those are the next, second and third. But as we said before, there's only one tightest aspect. And in his chart, it's the Mars square Neptune. And you can see it quite clearly there. And interestingly enough, the fact that it's Neptune square Mars, uh, Mars is conjoined Venus in the first house. I mean, Neptune and Venus are both planets to do with art. He's got Leo there on the ascendant and the Mars squaring that Neptune will energize his artistic output. It's a very interesting chart indeed and clearly requires some further look into as well. Okay, so there's been a lot to think about there. I'd love to hear from you. What is the tightest aspect in your chart? And I'll share a little bit about my chart with you here. My tightest aspect is a conjunction between the Sun and Uranus and the, the actual tightness of that orb is zero degrees, 58 minutes. And that is the tightest aspect in my chart. So I'd love to hear what is your tightest aspect. Write it down in the comments below. It would be super interesting to find out. My name is Alison Price. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.